So recently, uh, from the audit point of view, there are uh, lots of demands coming from uh, clients as well as from the government that audit posture, audit methodology should change. It should be comprehensive enough. It should not be focused only for the application or focused only for the database kind of a thing. So that's how the audit requirements are coming. Equally, uh, the various audit uh, auditors' perspectives is also changing because of the emerging technologies coming up, because of the new new types of uh, applications being developed by systems. Uh, with all these things, the audit methodologies are also changing. There are lots of challenges also in the audits. However, um, we are trying to gear up with, res with respect to such audits. See, by looking about the emerging technologies, the importance of uh, emerging technologies, you know very well. But when it is uh, coming to the audit, mm -hmm. so what is the importance of audits in emerging technologies? Um, the emerging technologies like uh, if you see artificial intelligence, blockchain um, and all of these uh, different sectors and all that they are using these emerging technologies, they are all bringing uh, lots of audit requirements. So basically they will try to provide us assurance in terms of the uh, compliances that uh, the system should actually follow. They will help users to detect vulnerabilities prior to someone else comes in find out in our systems. And doing audit in such emerging technologies will also help users to build trust upon our applications. So easily people will be able to consider that, okay, using this application, my personal data is also safe. At the same time, organization would also have some trust that audit has been carried out and there are no uh, vulnerabilities, at least uh, the known vulnerabilities are not available. So through that, the emerging technologies might be helping to use and build secure systems as well. How, how do audits help organizations, particularly critical organizations such as a power, uh, oil and natural gas, where they can manage risk with these new technologies? Um, so let's uh, take example now, uh, let's uh, take uh, IOT, uh, OT environment. Mm -hmm. They have to be there in such a way that in a kind of uh, uh, segments where they are, cannot connect to the public but uh, now the technologies are coming, AI coming and Wi-Fi kind of systems also they were suggesting. Mm. In this scenario, uh, how they manage the risks of uh, various of these new technologies like AI, blockchain, etc. Yeah, uh, as you rightly said, uh, the uh, critical sectors have a, a great challenge while uh, utilizing these emerging technologies because they have to take advantage of these uh, emerging technologies because they uh, give a lot of advantages to the uh, users, employees, uh, customers of those critical sectors. At the same time, uh, security was always a challenge in the critical environment. Having emerging technologies is bringing more new challenge over here. Uh, with regard to the risk assessment and all, they will have to do a proper risk assessment. They have to evaluate basically what kind of technology would bring what uh, level of uh, risks to the systems and all. So they need to conduct a regular risk assessment, continuous monitoring, continuous uh, verification on the systems that have been deployed and all. Any advantages with respect to their business growth? Yes, uh, it would definitely help them. Basically, they, uh, their business uh, goals have to be uh, definitely met. And by ensuring proper risk assessment is carried out, that will definitely help them to uh, bring in new advantages in uh, new uh, advantages for uh, increasing their business by providing much more uh, beneficial uh, outcomes for the systems and all. So uh, coming to this uh, assessment strategies for uh, emerging technologies, so what is the main difference between the, an audit and an assessment in, the, in this context? Yeah, uh, so audit and assessment perspective, basically audit will usually talk about uh, verifying against a defined set of checklist kind of a thing where uh, the specific checklist should be verified for meeting the specific compliances and standards. With regard to the assessment, it majorly focuses towards um, performing a continuous assessment on a particular system to identify vulnerabilities it could be or to evaluate its performance or to evaluate its something. So it's basically an evaluation kind of a thing when we do assessment. But audit is majorly towards conducting the um, compliance verification against a given checklist which will through which uh, the regulatories and all also can be met by the organizations. 
how should companies or organizations approach assessments for ai systems uh, how should uh, companies approach uh, for their ai systems audit and assessment yeah uh, so ai systems are actually bringing up new challenges as i was mentioning initially also uh, for the companies who are trying to develop applications by using various ai systems because nowadays ai applications models are also freely available on the open source platforms so when they are trying to bring in all of these things they have to definitely think about the there is a need for audit before they use anything that is coming from outside because they are something that will start learning also uh, while the while the ai systems are being used they also learn themselves train themselves and try to do so companies have to take care that while undergoing this kind of a learning or training themselves process it should not reveal out sensitive information with regard to the organizations and all by doing audits of uh, such systems before going into the production environment it will help the uh, protecting their sensitive data as well try to address the uh, uh, applications to be secure enough and uh, be protective against ai based vulnerabilities then what role does cyber security play in technology audits technology audits means so specifically the, suppose let's say uh, audit and assessment is basically what is majorly standards and compliances hmm. but if you want to have some kind of in a cyber security system uh, which that may be automated or data or which you developed while developing itself suppose let's say yeah, as an auditor i'm reading i'm also getting the information yeah. of a particular website or internal problems hmm. so where anything you are looking about uh, cyber security role with those aspects um yes from a auditor's point of view because the while auditor is trying to ask for different uh, uh, accesses to the systems and all definitely there is lot of internal environment also data is getting revealed to the auditors so Uh, apart from having nda and all which are a practice they should all they can also impose certain kind of uh, technical implementations for securing the data even which is been shared with the auditors where uh, they can try to de-anonymize as as much as possible while sharing the audit evidences to the auditors at the same time they can try to put additional controls like uh, securing the sharing of the data mechanism and all to which they will be able to do the uh, get the advantage of a full fledged audit at the same time secure their organizational data also so how do audits ensure compliance with evolving global regulations so every day uh, new evaluations are coming in with respect to compliance like uh, today you are saying iso 27001 now 14401 Mm-hmm. so many kind of uh, evaluations are happening in, even though in the compliances yes so how do you these audits can ensure those compliances and evolving global regulations um so one thing is the uh, audits when whenever an audit has been conducted they should definitely try to improvise their audit practices and methodologies by referring the latest standards as you rightly said Yes there are new technologies coming up new standards are coming if you see this also have released a new version of its framework and all where whatever the audit learnings we were trying to do earlier the governance aspects policy aspects we have to now that has also become into the standard so to make the audits in part to the standards definitely the auditors responsibility is to make themselves updated against what standards are coming what are the new things are talking about what is something that we should more look beyond what we are trying to currently see by that way having the regular updates and for the updates one has to definitely have a dedicated time that they should put for their themselves to enhance their skills for the learning purpose for updating themselves about what is happening what kind of things are coming at the same time don't just try to pick up some kind of a framework or checklist given by the systems before picking up something if we try to understand the frameworks new frameworks new emerging things and try to jot down the checklist what should be done by ourselves and then if we try to pick up the publicly available content it will give a meaningful outcome rather than going with the kind of a paperwork that's what is my opinion so how can businesses future proof their technology investments through this assessments definitely it is uh, it will be a uh, advantage for the organizations why because if the security is compromised for any organization 
it is definitely going to affect their uh, uh, business it is going to affect their uh, reputation so having a full fledged audit will have advantage for them will provide advantage to secure their organizations given maintain a good reputation at the same time uh, ensure and uh, have the trust from their uh, customers and users for them to utilize the organization services continuously okay the final two questions what should businesses look for a technology audit partner um from a technology audit partner the businesses should definitely look for first thing is uh, what will be their audit perspectives what are their audit methodologies skills and uh, um, various uh, tools that they use and how well are the technology partners are utilizing the technology and the manual manual verification kind of a thing rather than depending upon completely on tool based results is something that organizations should uh, definitely look into uh, how can audits drive innovation rather than hinder it okay that's a tricky question so audits uh, audits should actually i also believe that audit should not be a hindrance to somebody firstly it has to give some confidence to the uh, application users or owners that this audit is going to benefit them in some way so by providing such assurance to the users only then if we can if we initiate the audits that will definitely help to have a smooth execution and um, for avoiding uh, it, uh, that's what in, if we do not want uh, the audit to be a hindrance kind of a thing first thing is uh, good communication uh, proper uh, assurance given to the users how how safely their data will be managed at the same time what will be the benefit of getting these systems audited if we try to communicate well and execute it and uh, have a smooth communication with the audit organization that would definitely give us a positive outcome okay madam thank you very much so thank you sir thank you is there any <coughs>